Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everyone on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some mid Simic mid-range. So we're going to be trying this without the BioEssence Hydra. We've had some success with BioEssence Hydra so far in Simic mid-range, but I'm switching it up. We played Simic Yoink yesterday, I believe, or maybe the day before, um, and that, that deck was a lot of fun. And I felt like it was like... I felt like it was really good, but it was just kind of missing something. And I think think what it was missing is like some some other like I thought it was like a little too gimmicky of like having all sorts of steel spells. Like I don't think you need all the entrancing melodies in the main deck to go with all the mass manipulations. I think it was just kind of missing some some of like the the meat of the deck. You know, it was it was too much sizzle, not enough steak. There we go. So we're getting Tamios in here because Tamio is just an incredible card. You know, we get to tick up and look for mass manipulation whenever we need it, or we can go find our Hydroid Crisis if we need it, or go go grab Nissa, or we could, you know, minus and return stuff. If we already mass manipulate some stuff, we can just re bring back our mass manipulation and steal some more things. You know, it's just a just a great card to fit in in the curve. And the other main thing here is Biogenicus. I think this will help us a lot against aggro. Uh, we can go wide. I think that this card uh, is... Uh, Pretty good these days for a couple of reasons. I think it works really well with Nyssa. Whenever you have lots of extra green mana, you can make a bunch of oozes. And that with all the Planeswalkers around these days, having cards that are just like one one creature uh, aren't really so good because there's a lot of like bouncing and removal and stuff. So the fact that it's two bodies, I really like. So you, you get multiple bodies just to start with. I think that's pretty good these days also. So... I want to try playing a whole bunch of Biogenic Oozes. Um, and then also we got the Ugins at the top end. This card is just really good whenever you can get a whole lot of mana. This may be too many top end cards. Like maybe I need two more ramp spells um, or ways to, to draw more lands kind of thing. That's one thing. Like maybe maybe I want like three ooze and like a second growth spiral or just like uh, some kind of draw effect of like getting some more lands. We got 20, but we have 26 lands and we have, you know, the four, eight, 11, 12, we have the 12 ramp. So 26 lands, 12 ramp, that's 38 cards, you know? So we have like basically 38 cards that to help us get to the four mana. So yeah, so this is basically an update on Simic Yoink and let's give it a try. Let's see how this works out with all these Nissas and Uses and that kind of stuff but maybe a little bit too much on the top end. So we're going to go on over to the rank queues here with this one. I I think this deck's pretty strong, so I want to go over to the rank queues. <laughs> Not you, though, Weston. Weston, you're awesome. All right. How are we doing? So we're starting at number 905. We're going to play five matches with our deck here. The goal is to go three and two. That's always my goal in, with the Mythic. We did we did that earlier with Gruul Arcbow. We went three, two. That's perfect. Is it just me or since the internet net deck, every match is 50-50? <laughs> Basically, either you win or you lose, you know? All right, per Parappa, you have inspired me with all these. You keep on talking about how you're just getting double Shalai all the time with Shalai plus Spark Double. You've inspired me. I'm going to... I think tomorrow I'm going to go ahead and... I've been wanting to put together a Bant Arcbow deck anyway. Maybe I'll, I think I'll play Bant Arcbow tomorrow with um, with you know Frilled Mystic Shalai and Spark Double. Okay. okay. But yeah, you're doing it in the Cascade event.
Every story is an opportunity for new data. Let me aid your research. Three lands in a paradise druid. Hmm. We don't really deal with the decks that go pretty wide like this one does very well. Sorry I'm late. You know what? I'm not done yet. Oh, violence is impolite. Um, I think you will find my notes helpful. Oh no, so many good cards. Can't imagine we're winning this game. But it would have to deal with them not having removal, like at all. Alright, so much for that. So if, if we were on the play, if we're on the play, this could have been a lot different. They would have had to have like a removal spell on turn two, not like the Othakaya turn three, so that we would have had the Tamiyo down on turn three. Like if they would have just had, if we would have gone Druid and then they go Hero Precinct one, then we get to slam Tamiyo. And then like, that's, you know, a completely different game if we were on the play there. All right, so Hero Precinct one, it's going to be a tough one. We're just going to be on the play here with all our mana creatures and just try to get out to a faster start. I want to cut Frilled Mystic against the... I want this other manipulation and... I want the Melody, I guess. Yeah. I want... I'm cutting Frilled Mystic against the Little Teferi deck. But that's that's certainly how our deck's losing if we don't have any mana acceleration. You know, they killed our one mana creature. It takes a lot for me to mulligan double land, like two land, land war elf hand. But this is probably it. I mean, this isn't better, but I don't want to go to five. All right, so I don't. I guess it's either. I, I guess I just don't have enough acceleration in, in this deck. That's got to be it. My 12 acceleration spells can't be enough. We haven't seen more than one in, in any hand. We really need like two acceleration spells.
So I didn't want to play Nissa into the Dovin's Veto. I wanted to just uh, wait to activate Incubation Druid, but that was perfect. Mortified Duress, and now they have Veto still available. Even if I do top deck something good. Ooh. Okay. Known for my excellent timing. Let's draw Nissa. Draw another Nissa. No, I am not making this up as I go. Tilt. Well, this hasn't gone well for us. Trust me. At least we hit our land drops. You know, we kept the two lander and was worried about that, but all four of our draws have been land, so we've been able to hit land drops. Wow, okay. So no counter magic, so we're just going to be able to resolve this Ugin. That's pretty good. Wait, right, never mind. They untap lands. I forgot. That card's busted. Ah, still resolved. Guess I should have slammed that Nissa earlier. Yeah, I was too scared. Oh, hey, what's up, Chow? Destroy. Thanks for that resub there. This might be a bad idea. So was that was that sub notification that we just had there with uh, Chow resubbing there for the fourth month? Was that too loud? I got tons of cards over there. What you got? Certainly praying that we get to untap with Ugin. No, not untapping with Ugin. Let me remind nope. You cool. To fear those Sound good? I shall withdraw <laughs> this petty scrambling. I don't think I should have boarded an Entrancing Melody. Because, yeah, because this little Teferi just bounces their thing. Soren taking out Ugin there was real rough. Yeah. Soren is very good these days with taking out Planeswalkers. It is really good. I abhor. Recklessness and fear are the seeds. All right. Well, I need to draw mass manipulation. We got four of them. We haven't seen any yet. Ugh. The card I needed to see. I guess we're just using this. They'll bounce here, but at least that's not bouncing. My token. Ether itself serves me. I need to steal that Ugin. I've got to oh no, they're just bouncing the token. The weak feed the strong. They could have just bounced their hero, played it, played this hero, and then played that and gotten another token. And played this and destroyed mine. But it's all good. All right. 0-1. Deck didn't look very impressive there. Didn't get to resolve Nissa. Didn't draw any Hydroid Crisis to, like... Draw some cards. I don't know. Mulliganed. Didn't look too impressive, but... No. Yeah, Hinterland Harbor still doesn't have special art. No. It does not. All 
All right, so we got a lot of acceleration with this hand. Nothing to do with it yet, but we got a lot of acceleration. Perfect. Something to do with it. We don't have any, like, forests to double our mana, but... No, drew the Nyss at the wrong time. Never mind. That Nissa draw was not perfect. Wow, getting rid of Ritual of Soot. Interesting. I mean, there's another one over there. All right, so we draw a land here. We'll still have Krasis for four. Nope. Attack. In exchange for eternal service, I have other schemes to attend. My schemes are never ending. Perfect. Perfect card. Certainly the card I was hoping for. Fury ain't witness a moat of my power. I will return one day. Dang. Done a bad job of, of drawing like the, the threats right like and letting them get discarded. The Krasis and the Nissa there. Um Let us have a storied battle worth telling. To the library. Go get ooze. I do have four oozes. So like minusing minusing Tamio is like the best thing there, but I don't want to turn on his discard spells by like minusing. So I'm just trying to tick up and trying to hit something. N like Nissa, I only had three left. Ooze, I had four left. So that's why I went with Ooze. But Tamio did an okay job of clearing stuff out. Besides the other Tamio, I don't want to draw like those two lands or the Incubation Druid. I will not stand for such violence. So seven mana. Mm -hmm. 
Druid. All right, we need to top deck another mass manipulation. Will bend to my will. So, can we draw manipulation again? No. Good game. All right. <laughs> yeah, our, our deck does seem a little underpowered. Yeah, we haven't, we've never, we haven't like had Nissa in play at all. Uh, we haven't cast Hydra Crisis yet. So yeah, we haven't, we haven't cast a Nissa or a Hydra Crisis. It's gonna kind of hurt our deck's chances without those cards. So 67. I want to trim some on these mana creatures. But I guess... I think I'm going to take out one Nissa. I'm going to take out just a little bit at the top end. I think I want to just take out Anissa. And maybe I don't play all these negates. Negate's pretty good, though. We take out Paradise Druid. Druid does have Hexproof. Better than Incubation? Maybe. I guess I'm trimming Biogenic Ooze also if I'm cutting top end. Cool, Smith, you're do using the old version, doing good with it? Nice, yeah, I think I, I may be just too much... This this may just be like too much like mana creature than top end and not like enough in the middle. I, I try to put more in the middle by putting in like the Oozes and the Tamios in here. But not having anything like, like Jade Light Ranger, for example. I feel like we should just have like some Jade Light Rangers. Not playing the druid so that our opponent can get a two for one with the cry of the carnarium. Because <clears throat> we are still going to be able to play Biogenic Ooze the next turn. If if our creature wasn't killed, we were still curving into Biogenic Ooze either way. Will we see a meta deck tryhard stream? Probably not. I kind of want to just cast this before it goes away, basically. Like, before it gets... Like, if it gets... There, there's been no thought erasures or anything so far, but, like, a disinformation campaign or, like, another bolus... 
Hmm. I kind of just want to get this out of my hand, basically. It's just such. It's a very valuable card. It can obviously it's can, it can be better. But I want to cash it in while I can. Hadn't seen any like thought erasures or anything yet, but still. If their play is like the other bolus to kill my bolus, then of course the druid can finish off the planeswalker bolus. If they have like another flying nickel bolus, we'll you know discard our land or elf. So we're attacking for seven. I think that's my play here is just make the druid a three five and attack. Especially after drawing this manipulation where um, I can have the land of wealth protect from like another four mana bolus or disinformation campaign. And then this bolus takes out one card, and then the other one does the other one. We're not going to be able to get to this manipulation. GG's. Nickel Bolus Dragon God. Real strong. I guess... I don't know, I guess I should have just played the Biogenic Ooze instead of the Mass Manipulation. From, you know, like, seeing, like, those cards and everything. Maybe the Biogenic Ooze. Like, out of all the cards that were played. After that, maybe I could have done some real good work with a with an Ooze instead. Well, that was a tough decision, which one to play there. Steal there, 4-4, four, four, or play, get two three threes. And for, for how all the other cards that were played, like the, I, I wish I would have just played the Biogenic Ooze. Alright, so I need I I land, but Tamiya doesn't really plus to get land. I already have Nyssa. I mean, like, I think I want... I guess I'm just going to grab Krasis, or I'm going to look for Krasis. Okay, so that was land and three mana creatures. So I may be minusing Tamiya and picking up the land here. Yeah. No tail should be discarded.
This would kind of make sense for a sweeper here. That's why I'm not throwing out the land war elf. Oh, there was an ooze. I went crisis over ooze. Wasn't sure which one I wanted to do there. Right on schedule. No time for a break. Counterspell. Yep. Follow the tracks of the wise. No more games. Keep up the pace. At least we can't discard any cards, so we don't have to worry about like a thought erasure. Crisis. Crisis gets countered and draws me cards. No removal. That's unfortunate. Dang. All right, all my stuff's dead. Let's skip to the good part. Well, I don't think that does anything. I wonder what they chose. Or, like, tried to choose. Hey, Rex. Yeah, we're having fun. Find my notes helpful. Or crisis. Draw more cards. Run them out of cards eventually. Hey, what's up, Liam's? Thanks to that Twitch Prime sub there, Liam's. Glad you're enjoying the stream. Get all those cool emotes now. my hardy mo there it is okay so cast the mortify kill the crisis and then hold that thought what they counters inside away the kai's wrath I'm at 26 cards in the library right now. Four, five, six. So I'm two mana away from being able to play Ugin plus Frilled Mystic or Manipulation plus Frilled Mystic.
to the library. To the library. No time for a break. That's got to be like all their counter magic, right? Give me that frill mystic back. The past is never forgotten. Oh, is it EDT instead of EST? Oh, actually, I, I don't know. I don't know about, like, with that there. Hey, hey, Frisky Biscuits with the donation, two, three, four, five. Seriously, the quality and quantity of the MTG content on Twitch and YouTube is unmatched. Keep it up, bro. Oh, thank you so much, Frisky Biscuits. Really kind. Okay, well, I guess they don't like me taking their Teferi. It's possible all these counter spells aren't going to be good against, like, little Teferi, but we're going to hopefully be able to counter stuff before little Teferi comes on down. So I'm going to cut the three para... No, that card's good against... A little Teferi. I'm going to cut the four Incubation Druids and two Ooze. It's just three Ooze. I guess that's all I have. I'm keeping all the rest. Could get, Yeah, I'm not getting rid of Tamiyo. I could get rid of a Nissa. Nissa's so good, though. Yeah, no, I'm keeping all the rest. I mean, maybe should I just go three Negate? Nah. Nah, I'll just cut Ooze. Here, we'll go, let's just go 1 to 8 p.m. Eastern. There you go. I think, I think you all figured that out. <laughs> Hopefully. Um, not a, not a great hand. Mulliganing against the control deck isn't ideal either. But we have the negate for the Teferi. Okay. Well. Forgot people still play Thief of Sanity. Gotta. Uh, I don't really have anything for Thief of Sanity in my sideboard. I, mean, I could play Entrancing Melody, but it's not going to really happen. Wow. Something's better than Growth Spiral and Ugin. Go to the library. 
No, I talk too much. No, I'm just gonna play the Hydroid Crisis. Try to. Oh, wait. I'm not gonna have the blue mana for manip manipulation next turn. I was thinking I was gonna be able to, like. Yeah, <laughs> like six mana manipulation. But I'm not gonna have the blue for that. Yeah, mono, mono red is a, a good first deck to build. Yeah, that's a good one. I would like to test a new hypothesis with you. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. <laughs> yeah, red deck wins and mono white are two really strong decks. Um, they're they're difficult to beat, for sure. So I could grab the Ugin, but it's kind of likely that they just have a counter spell for the Ugin. You know, like a Dovin's Veto or a Negate. It's less likely that they have a counter spell for the Krasis. The storied past holds our future. PG language in here, please. Or PG-13. Don't. Please don't curse. But, you know, getting run over <clears throat> can certainly be frustrating. Much from oh my gosh, ancestors. that's not going to do anything. What am I doing? Why do I think I had a crisis in my hand? I need to minus and grab crisis again. Yeah, that was like my whole plan. Minus, grab crisis, put it for two, and then have frilled mystic. And I just saw the negate, because I was thinking just... I was just, you know, focused on the crisis. So I drew, saw the, you know, like when I went here, I was like, oh, I could just have a negate for crisis. What am I doing? <laughs> Through this land, we are all connected. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Well, your your message had the F word in it. That's why I deleted it. I don't I don't want people swearing like that in the chat. All right. Well, they got a lot of cards. We'll see if we can outrace them though with Nissa backing up with these frilled mystics. I actually don't. I actually, kind of like. I, I think we're gonna win this game. I like where we're at actually here. <clears throat> We'll see if we do or not, but I like where we're at. Ha! 
harness the elements. Sure, the thief can just grab whatever card. They already got a lot of cards. They can only spend seven mana, though, and I have two counter spells and lethal. And not only do I have two counter spells, I also next turn can can clear out any blockers. So it's got to be just removal. So actually, grabbing that negate's been actually has just worked out perfectly fine. Yeah, it's just I just want the stream for all ages, so. It's all it's all good though, Demikin. So just yeah, please don't use that word in, in chat. Oh, they only have three mana left. All right, so that's how to make Thief of Sanity not matter too much. It's just kill your opponent. This Thief does not kill you very quickly. While it gives you a lot of cards, it doesn't kill you very quickly. So we're able just to continue to hit a lot of land drops. I think I want to take out one of the oozes. Let's go three ooze. And I think I want like one more growth spiral. Let's do that. What? That's weird. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna edit our deckless command here. Try to get me going just a tiny bit faster. I want to just keep this, even though it doesn't really do anything. That's what our draw steps are for, though. Really? You've been doing the finale of Devastation for 10+, plus, getting Endray's Forerunners? Nice. That is pretty sweet. Mmm. Turn one land or elf. Still unbeatable. GG. We'll see some more of our opponent's deck. Alright, so they're playing Bant stuff. Okay. Definitely got punished for not mulliganing. Oh, not having the super fast hand. So what are they shocking in there for? They want six mana instant speed. And just, you know, not attacking at all or anything. Not frilled mystic. Hmm. What a strange and magnificent world. The land shall conquer you. <laughs> I 
Thanks for Skip Biscuits. Said mad respect for playing non tier one decks in Mythic. Ranked. Thank you. Yeah, that's, that's what I like to do. Um I guess I guess we're gonna try we're gonna try this manipulation. We're gonna see if we can pull it off. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So untapping a forest gives us nine mana. Which that doesn't. Let's just go with eight and be able to have like this island still on defense, I guess. Oh no, I, I can't have the island on defense. I guess I'll have the land war elf on defense. So I need need to tap the island. Behold, nature's true power. So I want to take the two incubation druids. Alright, so they gotta have Frill Mystic. They're doing this. Just got to Diamond? Way to go, Neo Blackie. Yeah, I was just listening to Postal Service, yeah. That Postal Service album, I guess, what is it called? A, a Give Up? Yeah. That album was definitely one of my very favorites in, like, high school. It was... Love that album. So this is an Arcbo deck. There's no reason to be playing Dream Eater. <laughs> I like it. Immortal Sun's super good these days. I like our opponent's deck. I like what they're doing. Yeah, they they ramped out ramped us. A lot of standard is who spends more mana than the opponent. Like who who spends more mana? Like they're the they're gonna be the people to win. And our opponent has spent more mana than us. I like their deck. Whole bunch of Immortal Suns. And a ton of ramp stuff in Immortal Suns. I like it. Okay, so I'm going to cut the Tamios. Just have five Planeswalkers. I'm going to cut a Nissa also. Nissa's so good, though, with the extra mana. Maybe I don't play Ugin, actually. Yeah, maybe I just maybe I'll just take out Planeswalkers. Make Immortal Sun not as good. Hmm. Nah, I want I want the Nissa's at least.
I think the melodies are really crucial here of like stealing the mana creatures. I guess they did have like the bounce, they had the, the one bounce thing, but I definitely want to take their incubation druids. I I don't know exactly what's in our opponent's list or anything. This is my you know first time playing against it, but all the the cards that that they were playing there besides the Ab Aboreal Grazer, I didn't like that one, but the rest of them I liked what they were doing from just a theoretical standpoint. No tax. No lands in hand. Interesting. Ah, uh, there's a land. Definitely considered just activating Incubation Druid, letting this happen, and then untapping and manipulating. But we can do better. Because I wasn't going to be... Okay, well, we, we did draw the land. I was going to say I wasn't even guaranteed a manipulation for two. But we did draw the land for it. Um... Good card. Good card, good card. One's just great in this matchup, too. It's great against me. So I trade that for a Paradise Druid. If they want. Alright, get that Doan's Veto out of there. One short of
<clears throat> one short of being able to like just steal the Hydro Crisis and hold up Frilled Mystic, um, or just steal all their creatures and you know get another four damage in. You're loving the standard metagame these days? I've been hearing... I've been hearing some people... <clears throat> like, I got, like, a comment on, like, one of my YouTube videos and stuff. People not really loving it so much because it's just all... Like, the Planeswalkers are just so good. They have so much loyalty. They have the static abilities that... It's just all, you know, Planeswalker slugfest and... And nothing else kind of thing. That was a perfect top deck. They block here, they take 13. They're at 13. I haven't played a banned version of Arc Bow. I've been, I've been considering making one. Um, Cause you know, I've just played Selesnya and then Gruul. Been thinking about what I've wanted to do to, to make one. The Mortal Sun's pretty interesting in, in the Arpo deck there. Deputy attention is just awesome against me. Yeah, the the planeswalkers did make it. It did look like it was going to be a lot of nexus and esper control, but um, like that's that's one thing the little fairy has done is basically killed nexus. What if I keep. We're starting to see more of those things like Elder Spell, Immortal Sun, Sorcerer Spyglass, all that kind of stuff. We're starting to see a lot more of those just show up in main decks and everything. As you see, like our opponents playing an Immortal Sun deck, you know, it takes it takes a little bit of time, but you know, it was just like f five days ago that everybody really started playing a ton of Planeswalker decks, and so now it's so people are adapting. Like yesterday, I played that Demir Control that was built around. Immortal Sun. Our, looks like our opponent's deck is built around Immortal Sun as well. Alright, so we know they have Dovin's Veto. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to just tap out. Wanted the land drop and be able to play land war off and everything, but they also well I guess they're gonna have the land now because the incubation druid. I say they didn't have the land for Immortal Sun, but Definitely know they have Dovin's Veto. I should have just done this last turn. <clears throat> I was a little worried that they would have like the sixth mana then slam Immortal Sun last turn. Ugh, now they get it with counterspell back up. Gross. Um, really? Well, good thing I still have the mana for this, but... Paradise Druid is better than Druid of the Cowl because of Little Teferi. Like, the Hexproof is, is really important. So they can't just bounce it. Druid of the Cowl is better if you were playing against aggro, like, just specifically aggro, but, like, there's so much 
so many planeswalkers in the metagame you want to be attacking and, and so much removal and stuff like that. Okay, so four, six, seven, eight, nine. So I can spend five mana with Frilled Mystic. It's not really enough mana. It's not really enough mana. I can steal their Incubation Druid. That's not bad. So I could I could steal Incubation Druid and have... I guess i just do that. I could have two counter spells, though. Whatever. Wow. It was Spell Pierce they had, not Dovin's Veto. That's okay. That's okay, though. That Spell Pierce is out of their hand. Now, if they don't, if they don't have another counter spell, next turn I can manipulate and steal Oketra and Druid. It's going to hurt. Please don't have another counter spell. Crisis. They've been representing Dovin's Veto, so I wouldn't be surprised if they also had Dovin's Veto. I'm hoping they're just trying to draw towards Dovin's Veto here and don't actually have it, because I don't have any other option as far as winning goes, besides playing this manipulation here. Still probably don't win. No, Deckmaster doesn't let you see the number of cards in deck. One and three. With it. Hmm. All right, I want to change. I want to take out these growth spirals. I want a couple Jade Light Rangers. I think I'm missing Jade Light Ranger, honestly. I want that over Growth Spiral. Alright, one more match with the deck. I hadn't tried this deck at all before playing it here in <laughs> in Mythic on, on stream. I had it, you know, I just just put it together a little while ago, hadn't tried it. Hasn't hasn't worked too well for us. Feels like we're kind of missing something. But yeah, opponent's deck was awesome. Yeah, I liked our opponent's deck. Immortal Sun is just is just incredible these days, and so they had a lot of a whole lot of Immortal Suns. They may have had all four. We saw three game one. Expansion to target Veto. It's 
copy the veto. I mean, we could just have... We could be playing... Um... Narset's reversal. We could have that in the deck, and then like they counter they counter my manipulation, and then I Narset's reversal it and copy it and put the manipulation back in my hand, and still get to still get to play it. Yeah, four times four x. 4x Immortal Sun main. I like it. I have a Teamer Star Extinction deck. There you go. Grow Spiral. Get get your uh, whatever they're called. The um, Gift of Paradise. Good ramp card. So we should be slowing the game down with this Frilled Mystic. Like, they're not going to be playing anything there. That's all I want to do is slow the game down with the Frilled Mystic to give us a b better chance to play a bigger Krasis. Yeah, like them, they want to attack for one for a couple of turns and not really do anything. It's probably good for me. Drawing this Biogenic Ooze made me change. So now we'll just have this out here and go Biogenic Ooze and start attacking and everything. Hmm. Maybe I should craze this. We'll see if we draw that land. Did not draw the land. Alright, if they have two more three damage burn spells with those last two cards plus the draw step. That was like their entire hand were three damage burn spells. Uh, spectacle. I don't... No, I don't think I did. Frisky Biscuits. I don't think so. Who knows, maybe. Bleh. Well... That was a lot of burn spells. Didn't get the fourth land, but probably doesn't matter. Hey, there it is. So if they have basically anything, we're dead. If they have absolutely nothing, we win. So good game. It's one way or the other, it's game. They had nothing. We won. So Frilled Mystic, Ripjaw, Brontodon, Negates. Yesterday and today, it's been this. Like the stream health is just like a, a solid line. It says it's it's fine. Now it just says excellent. No, you wouldn't want to Narset's Reversal the Veto to make a new Veto kind of thing. You'd want to just put your own spell back in your hand so you can recast it again. You don't want to put their spell back in their hand. You don't want to do that. All right, Tamio's out of here. I guess Ugin, Mass Manipulation's out of here. Ugin's good against Frenzy. Ooh, 
we already have enough other top end. Hopefully they don't have Frenzy. I think that's our our real plan. Hoping they don't have Frenzy. This is um, Lazy Eye by the Silver Sun Pickups. There's information in on that website there about the economic model for this game. Check that out. So Chain Whirler, of course, kills the Paradise Druid, but if it's not Chain Whirler, they can't just use, like, Burn Spells to kill the Paradise Druid. So they have, like, four cards in their deck that are going to be just awesome here. But they're not slamming it, so it doesn't seem like they have Chain Whirler. unfortunate on the site that I just linked into the chat there yadihu at toiletdrake.com that site has Good information about Magic Arena for new players. Draw a card. Well, it was a great trade for us. The problem is the Steamkin is pretty busted. So I don't know if... Even though we had that awesome trade, we're still probably losing to these Steamkins. We just can't cast all these things in our hands. At all. Good game. Let's play Melody to steal Steamkin. Especially on the play here. Where we can get out ahead a little bit. Try to have the... We can like potentially have four mana on turn three. Like they play Steamkin on turn two. Our turn three we could have four mana. And Melody is Steamkin. Jeez. What are all these one landers? We're a 26 land deck. <laughs> this is crazy. All right, I guess that Simic Midrange deck doesn't like me. I suppose. There's a ton of one-landers there. Oh, well. All right, we went one and four with the deck. Definitely felt a little off. We did, didn't 
cast hardly any Nissas or Krasises, just kind of in general. So kind of a little bit of bad variance there. We played one Ugin. I think we played one Ugin and one Nissa throughout those five matches. I think. I could be wrong. I don't know. Anyway, this deck needs work. This is very rough. Hafrican with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much for that support, Hafrican. Thanks for that pick-me-up. I, I definitely could have used that right there. So thank you. All right, if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it, even though we didn't do very well. Hope you learned some stuff still there. But thank you very much.